Hi, I'll be walking you how to set up uh, Ubuntu Repi image on the new Mac 2021 with the M1 processor. So I do have the parallel desktop running. Um, as you see on the screen, um, I'm going to be picking up the ISO image that I downloaded from internet. That is ARM64. Make sure it's ARM64, not AMD64. And from your up until the stand, uh, the final installation, it's a standard typical Ubuntu installation. Mm, so you can just follow the instruction either online or follow the video that's shown here. Make sure that the user ID is all lowercase. It's, you're going to soon see a pop up window saying that it's invalid. So I change it to lowercase. Give a name for your uh, image. So I get Ubuntu Linux NYU. And these are all standard uh, pop up windows whether you want to allow your um, the host mission uh, IO devices to be accessed from the Linux. Um, so give some time. Uh, it's going to install. I'm going to fast forward the video from your. Uh, it's going to be quick. So yeah, um, here if you see install Ubuntu, that's the um, GUI installation software that's ready for you to uh, install. Uh, you pick, pick the normal installation and the standard timing wherever you're located. Provide a name that you're going to be accessing the uh, mission. The computer's name, I gave a shorter name so that the prompt is shorter. Uh, it comes with the default. Wanted to avoid that. Mm. Once that is done, it's going to take some time. It's a follow up, fast forward screen here. Restart the computer. Yeah, make sure that you update the OS. It just pops up after some time. Mm. Just update it so that you have the latest. Uh, security and other things packages so, so you're um, not able to copy and paste from the browser like from the host machine the reason because it needs the paddle desktop tools you can find that from the menu install the paddle desktop tools um, there's no CD but still uh, it's part of the package um, what you do is open up that file and then you'll see uh, install GUI um, icon um, click on that it will install the tools. These tools help you copy text from your host mission to the um, uh, VM. So once that you see that shared folder out there, um, that helps you to copy files between host and the um, VM. Now what I do is I'm just cloning the uh, repy repo. Uh, because git is missing, um, it's showing that error. I'm going to install the git. This should be quick. Not sure why it's flat. So once the repo is installed, git is installed. Um, you clone the uh, repy and go to the directory. Uh, within the directory, um, there is a scripts folder. Uh, you can either follow the instructions in the uh, uh, head edu. Initialize Python. What this command does, it, it loud downloads all the required libraries. See the copy and paste is now helping us to copy from the host machine to the VM. And then you do the build for this particular OS. Build is done, and then all your executables in the runnable directory. 
So then what you do is uh, from our lab uh, zero uh, directory, you can copy these three files that um, you need it. So what I'm doing here is instead of copying from the host machine, I'm going to be opening the browser on the VM itself or the virtual machine, copying all those three files here that's required for the lab. That's the my application file. I'm going to keep it in the downloads folder. Note the, note the browser in the background is my host machine browser. That's why I'm copying and pasting. I cannot click that link. If I click, it's going to save the file on the host machine and then you have to use the share folder to copy, but I, I wanted to avoid that. Go to the downloads folder now. You will see all those three files. Copy those three files into the runnable folder that you created. It should be under Ohm, Repi V2, runnable, copy here. I think the files that's out there, you don't need to fix anything, but just to verify line number 11 uh, in the monitor file. There was one, there was an extra character or like a character open a file that needs to be fixed. So the files that I downloaded, I, I didn't need to do anything. Yeah, it's, it's good there. See line number 11, it's good, they're good. Yeah, just copy that command. That's the command that we're going to be using to do our lab. Open the terminal window, copy. Yep, we're in the right folder, paste. When you execute, you see all these errors. The reason why you see because we are supposed to replace the characters in the file, the application file and that's the exercise you need to follow the lab zero exercise to do that so what i'm going to be doing is instead of solving the problem i'm going to comment out all the line to just to test if my installation is working fine so i'm looking for the application file okay the latest one i need the latest one there the my application r2 py r2 py r2 py yeah so i'm going to comment out all the lines except the top two mm, lines. Yep, there's gonna be an error, I know. See, that's what I wanted to show. Name P is not defined. That's the goal that we are supposed to solve the problem. So I'm gonna give you the first int here so that we can test it. Yeah, you can use like whatever the editor you're comfortable. I just use the default one. Soon I'll be setting up maybe VS Code or some other tools so that it becomes easy. Yep, so if you see that after executing, I was able to get the hello world. It was able to pull the file, the monitor file, and then the hello world. So we are good. Mm, with this setup, I was able to solve the lab zero. Enjoy.